air pollution is not a Delhi specific problem. Even if you consider our national standard, almost uh, 60% of the country does not meet that national standard. It's a leading cause of diabetes, hypertension, depression, infertility. Like it affects everything in your body and you cannot see it. It's invisible. PM 2.5 level in this room right now is over 150. A lot of people, not just Gen Z, actually tend to think that that's the mindset that we have to change. You cannot escape um, air pollution. Putting an air purifier everywhere, it's going to get them clean air. It's not, you know, so there's no compensation for clean air. What can someone do to improve indoor air quality? Take your shoes off outside your home. Brush off your clothing or whatever before you come into the house. Of course, your greatest source of air pollution in your home is your... Air pollution is affecting, you know, what type of diseases. Number one is cardiovascular disease. Yeah. All these uh, crazy heart attacks that you're seeing now, and you know, the doctors and scientists are coming and saying this. It's surprising that when I'm talking to school students, for them, they are more concerned if I tell them that air pollution is giving you acne or white hair. <laughs> now, the government is he heavily focused on smart cities. Forget about smart cities, your cities will never become smart. Unless we create opportunities in rural India, our cities don't stand a chance.